dog light is on the left. So you can see the one on the passenger side is kind of more of a defined straight line whereas the one I've installed is a much wider pattern also quite a bit brighter. To access the fog light which is up here there's a plastic cover plate under the entire front and I'm hoping that I can just remove these two and then reach up in there slightly bend that down take a screwdriver and you kind of pop that down and then they'll kind of wiggle out when you get them out you can see it just kind of you can kind of see how that works you can also buy these in case you damage one so let me get the other one out and see how well it goes what I'm hoping I can do now is kind of push this back. I don't know if I can do it one handed and hold the camera. Yeah, now I'm going to be able to reach up in there and reach the back of that light. Getting it to unlock. There we go. So it's clockwise. There's the one that came with it. It's just a good idea to put on gloves. This is the Ala LED fog light, premium high illumination. Comes with a one year warranty. I have in the past had one go bad and the company did replace it right away. New one's partially in. It does appear bigger but it's just fatter. It's the same length. Did fit right in. Just making sure I'm getting it in good and snug. Okay, now it's just a matter of putting these back together. That goes under, that goes under. Now I'll put the pins back in. I didn't have any problem pushing these back in. You just uh, push them in and then the, the round disc there just pushes into place, spreads that open and locks it back in place. So that was easy. Headlights and now fog lights. Currently it's dusk and I think you can obviously see that the fog lights put out quite a bit of light. They are uh, bright. I'm trying to decide if I was driving in another car if that would uh, be a distraction because they're so bright. They will be very helpful when driving at night or in rain. And um, although they are pretty bright, and you can see how well it's illuminating on the pavement and with the yellow color. I like that better than the, the standard bulb that came in. It was kind of an off-white which did not go well with the uh, headlights that were with car that are more of the the pure white. So it's not completely dark out, it's dusk. I'll try and give a view of how much light it puts out. Now from here obviously the headlights do better but you can see how the interior of the garage is being illuminated by the fog light. Both vertically and horizontally. So I like the look. Still concerned with it could be too bright for oncoming vehicles. 
So this is the completed job on the 2020 Forester replacing the front fog lights with true fog lamps. I'll continue this series as my car ages and I do different maintenance projects on it. I do all the maintenance myself, including changing the oil even when it's under warranty. I just prefer to know that it was done right and no one has messed with my car. Again, thanks for watching. The Spoiler Dan, where my motto is, I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing.